should travel to the flats uh, where Marcus is going to uh, position the boat with the wind in the right direction or possibly with the sun behind us uh, and then we'll slowly pole to where uh, Marcus knows that there'll be some fish and hopefully uh, within a short time of finding them we, we shall start catching them. Within minutes of arriving, we came across our first shoulder bone fish, and two or three casts later, I'm into my first fish. First bonefish of the trip. It's only a small one, but uh, we've started off nicely. Marcus has placed us in an amazing position where we are ambushing shoal after shoal of bonefish as they leave their feeding ground on an ebbing tide. As you can see, I strip strike these fish. By striking in this way, it doesn't give the fish time to spit the fly out. And don't forget to keep your hand away from the reel whilst they are running, otherwise it's very easy to get broken off. This pod of bonefish here, they might be small, but they certainly put up a good account for themselves. took I kept all the line away from the reel away from any snags and then and I waited until I got it onto the onto the reel where now it can it can run to its heart's content well just try and get him back a little bit but he will take off any minute there he goes I'm keeping steady pressure on the fish, not giving it any slack line at all. Now as you've seen I've played these fish quite hard, uh, the idea being is that they don't run out of steam when you release them because if you play them for a long while and they're really tired they swim away slowly and then any predators in the area are able to catch them. So play them as hard as you can, as they let, hard as they'll let you, release them and then they'll have plenty of energy to swim off quite quickly and avoid predators. After a great start Dave hits fish after fish. It's soon time for a spot of lunch on one of the many small islands that run throughout the flats.
been going great this morning. Uh, Mark has dropped us onto some fish, as you uh, as you've seen. They're not particularly big fish at this particular time, but uh, hey, it's the first afternoon and it's a tight line, uh, and we're catching fish that weren't put there just for us. So uh, yeah, it's gone very well. Um, I think uh, Mark has over what have I had? Uh, seven fish or eight fish now? Eight. eight. Yeah, I've had eight fish in about two hours. So you know, as, as bone fishing goes, that's pretty good, I think. Uh, we'll see what happens after lunch, but I'm sure from what we've seen this morning, um, it's going to be the same in a minute. Uh, Marcus is a brilliant guide. He knows these waters well, and um, he's going to put us on the fish, I'm sure. Right, well, so uh, the tide has gone out, um, so it's... Uh, it's uncovered these beautiful pristine flats where uh, Marcus suggested we come and start wading. And uh, within five minutes of climbing out the boat, we came across a small shoal of fish. And uh, the second or third cast on, uh, onto them, I had, I had one fish. Um, as again, I played it fairly hard and it swam away with lots of vigor. That's the, that's the way I like to do it. Um, and if you take a look at this flat, it's vast and I'm sure there's more fish to come. When you wade these flats, or any flats that you, you, you fish for for bonefish, um, you must walk very quietly, because the fish can hear you. And the idea is to just creep along, just without splashing your feet, but just shuffling them through. And uh, sometimes the fish will come right up to you if they haven't heard you. As in this case, they, they got within about 30 feet of me, uh, because we, we stopped and we stood still, and uh, second or third cast, and I had that little one. And now we'll uh, we'll carry on walking and uh, see what see what else we can find. Hopefully some bigger fish, and hopefully some tailing fish. In fact, Marcus has just pointed out why we're talking some more fish coming up towards us. So let's see if I can have those ones as well. Yeah, I'll see you, Marcus. That was a very lovely cast, very gently flight. A very dangerous moment. Don't put your hand anywhere near that reel until it stops. Then you can pick up on the on the weight of the fish but keep the rod bent and high. This is bone fishing at its best, stalking the fish in very shallow water.
The day is all too soon over and we head back to the Georgiana. 